Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Biological Concepts. In today's video, we will going to discuss on bacteria versus virus. The differences and similarities between bacteria and virus will be discussed here. So stay tuned. Bacteria are living organisms, whereas the viruses are non-living outside the living cells and they become living once inside the living cells. So, these viruses are in between living and non-living. The bacteria are unicellular and this unicellular means the bacteria are single-celled organisms. Whereas, the viruses are acellular. Why they are acellular? Because they do not have a cellular structure. They lack most of the components of the cells like plasma membrane, ribosome, etc. Whereas the bacteria are cellular because they have a cellular structure and they contain most of the components like plasma membrane, ribosomes, mesosome and other important cellular components. That's why they are cellular. And why they are unicellular? This is because they contain a single cell. That's why they are unicellular. Uni means single. Okay. Now, bacteria cannot be crystallized. Whereas, the viruses can be crystallized. Now, what is this crystallization? The crystallization is a process that transforms the viral particles into organized solid particles. And these organized solid particles includes a large number of viral particles. The first virus that was crystallized was the tobacco mosaic virus that is the TMV. T for tobacco, M for mosaic, V for virus. This is the TMV or the tobacco mosaic virus was the, was the first virus to be crystallized and it was done by Stanley in 1935 and for this discovery he got the Nobel Prize in 1946. Now, the generally bacteria are larger in size, whereas the viruses are smaller in size than the bacteria. So, although both the bacteria and virus are smaller in size, very much small, but generally bacteria are larger in size than the viruses. Okay. Bacteria have their metabolism of their own, whereas the viruses have no metabolism of their own. The bacteria can reproduce on their own, whereas the, the viruses cannot reproduce on their own. They utilize the host cell machinery to reproduce. Without any living hosts, they are unable to reproduce. That's why the viruses are known as the obligate intracellular Parasite. Okay. Viruses are known as obligate intracellular. Parasite. Parasite. Okay. Now bacteria grow in size and divide to produce more bacteria. Whereas virus do not have cells that divide. New viruses assemble in the infected host cells. Thus, more and more virus particles produce. The bacterial infection can be prevented by antibiotics. And the examples of such antibiotics include penicillin, penicillin, amoxicillin, amoxicillin, doxycycline, doxycycline, cephalosporin, etc. Whereas the viral infection can be prevented by the antiviral drugs. And the examples of antiviral drugs include oseltamivir, oseltamivir, acyclovir, cyclovir, ritonavir, etc. Okay. The examples of bacteria include Clostridium titani, 
streptococcus, staphylococcus, E. coli and so on. Whereas the viruses examples include influenza virus, coronavirus, bacteriophages etc. The diseases caused by bacteria are tetanus which is caused by this tetanus is caused by Clostridium tetani. Botulism and this botulism is caused by Clostridium botulinum. Botulinum. Other diseases cholera which is caused by Vibrio Vibrio Sorry This disease is caused by Cholera is caused by Vibrio Vibrio Cholerae Cholerae Diphtheria which is caused by Codini bacterium diphtheria and the diseases caused by virus include COVID-19 which is caused by coronavirus, swine flu that is caused by H1N1, measles that is caused by measles virus. These are the differences between bacteria and virus. So although there are some differences between bacteria and virus, there still exist some similarities between this bacteria and virus. Now let's discuss the similarity between bacteria and virus. Both are microscopic, that is both bacteria and viruses are microscopic. Although both vary in size, that is both bacteria and virus vary in size, they are too small to be visible in the naked eye. That is why they are microscopic. Both does not have nuclei, both bacteria and virus does not have nuclei. Both can cause disease. We have already discussed that both bacteria and virus cause disease. Okay. Now both the bacteria and virus spreads by roots of coughing and sneezing. The examples of bacteria that spreads through coughing and sneezing includes Cordinibacterium diphtheria that cause diphtheria. Diphtheria. R I A. So if you omit this E from this species name diphtheria you will got the disease name diphtheria and another disease another bacteria that spread uh, by roots of coughing sneezing is bordetella pertussis which cause whooping cough whooping cough and the examples of virus that spreads by roots of uh, coughing and sneezing is influenza virus that cloud influenza or flu and coronavirus which cause COVID-19. COVID-19. Next is uh, this virus and bacteria can be spread also by coming into contact with infected persons. So one can get disease, bacterial disease by uh, contact with an infected person. There are some disease that is a sexually transmitted disease which caused by direct contact with an infected person. The examples of bacteria that, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, spreads by contact with an infected person is Neisseria gonorrhea, Triponema pallidum. This, this Neisseria gonorrhea cause gonorrhea. It cause gonorrhea. Gono, R-R-H, R-R-H-O-E-A. Again, if you omit this E from this species name, you will got the disease name. Gonorrhea and also a triponema pallidum cause the disease syphilis. 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 And the virus that spreads when come into contact with infected persons and uh, are hepatitis A and B virus and HIV. That is human immunodeficiency virus. This virus also cause the sexually transmitted disease. Hepatitis A and B virus cause hepatitis A and B and HIV uh, um, that cause the AIDS. This AIDS and hepatitis A and B are also uh, the sexually transmitted disease. Now one can get uh, the disease from con by consuming contaminated food and water. So people can harbor bacteria or virus through contaminated food and water. The bacteria that we harbor from contaminated food or water is Salmonella which cause Salmonellosis. Shigella that cause Shigellosis. 
दिस सेलमोनिलोसिस एंड शिकुलोसिस आर फूड बॉन और वाटर बॉन डिजीज एंड द वायरस दैट वन कैन गेट बाय ईटिंग कंटेमिनेटेड फूड और वाटर इज नोरो वायरस दिस नोरो वायरस कॉज डायरिया ओके एंड बोथ बैक्टीरियल एंड वायरल इन्फेक्शन कैन बी पोटेंशियली प्रोटेक्टेड विथ वैक्सीन्स द वैक्सीन्स दैट प्रोटेक्ट द बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन एग्जाम्पल्स इज डी पी टी दैट इज डिप्थेरिया पर्ट्यूसिस टिटनस दैट प्रोटेक्ट फ्रॉम डिप्थेरिया पर्ट्यूसिस दैट इज द हुपिंग ऑफ एंड टिटनस एंड द वैक्सीन दैट प्रोटेक्ट फ्रॉम वायरल इन्फेक्शन इज एम एम आर एंड जेई वैक्सीन ऑल्सो एम एम आर इज मिजल्स दैट प्रोटेक्ट फ्रॉम मिजल्स मॉम्स एंड रुबेला ओके नाउ These are all about the differences and similarities between bacteria and viruses. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.